right, so right now we are in full on totality. Let me see if I can show you. Look! <laughs> we are, what, about 20,000 feet? Right. 20,000 feet. This is our pilot, Jim. Uh, this is Jim's son right here. This is James. James has given me the best seat in the house. James, I owe you, man. Uh, we've got we've got cities down below. And the cities are starting to turn on their lights. I, the, the sensors must be set uh, for when it gets dark. But it is incredible. It is it is this wild sunset sunrise all the way around and then above us you've got you've got that perfect perfect ring when you're up here and you see you see the movement of this shadow shadow is is very dark on this side very light on this side and then up above you've got that perfect ring you are just you're reminded of how fast the moon and the sun are moving 16 100 miles an hour is how fast the moon shadow is moving over Earth. It is wild, wild to see. It's kind of like colder outside. It's starting to frost over the window. Yeah. yeah. This right here, it's kind of freezing over. Freezing over. Wow. One of the things that, that's striking up here is just, it's, it's this cosmic coincidence, if you will. This cosmic coincidence that is the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon 400 times bigger and then the moon is 400 times further away from the sun uh, than we are we, it, it's for 400 times further away and so that perfect little coincidence enables us to see this totality and that totality is finally starting to lift oh my gosh this is glorious look at this wow now it's like this sunrise but the but the sunrise is a color I've never seen before. It is like a, a deep purple. This is incredible. And what a happy coincidence, a happy coincidence that reminds us all that these celestial bodies above us are moving at these incredibly fast speeds, these speeds that we can't even compute. And they're happening every single day. It just shows us how, how special we are in this universe. And uh, it's crazy to think that everybody down there on Earth, everybody in that shadow, as that shadow moves on, it is, is looking up, sharing this majestic moment. And we're up here looking down on Earth. It is, uh, it's a, a life, it's a life-changing experience. Gotti Schwartz joining us now. Gotti, two thoughts. One, how eloquent and inspiring what you said were. The other thought is, I'm so terribly jealous. <laughs> Have you done anything like that? paid to do this. You pay, well, we get paid too. Yeah, but, but he gets I paid know, my I name's know, on the marquee. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> and, and not only that, not only that. So this, we just landed. Uh, we were trying to do that live for you up there, but there was just the connection went down as soon as the eclipse hit. So we nosedived, basically. We came down very quickly to the nearest airport. I think we're in, in Mena, Arkansas right now. We're with Jim and James, and you guys are talking about Lucky. That was James' seat. And he he let me have the best seat on Anytime. planet Earth. Thank you so very much, you guys. Thank you so much for, for piloting this. And remember, we had two jets. Uh, the other jet, it's just like this one, except for that one has an 8K camera on its nose. It went even higher. We were at about 20,000 feet. The other jet went up to about 40,000 feet, 45,000 feet. And then it used that 8K camera, that red Raptor X, and pointed it straight at the path of totality from outside the totality. We don't even know what it looks like right now because we were headed to Dallas and we realized we weren't going to get there in time. We had to make this broadcast. So we're going to have that footage a little bit later today. But that path of totality will sweep over Little Rock, Arkansas, and it'll show that 115 mile wide shadow of the moon passing over. And when we were up there, the lights from the city started flickering. Uh, you saw the, the windshield uh, started frosting over because there was that temperature drop. It was incredible. Just absolutely absolutely astonishing just listening to it playing back i wish i could go back in time it was seriously just a an incredible hey, God, experience God, he, words do not do it justice Gotti, i have a question for you though you know we were all measuring our time uh during totality in minutes you know we had three and a half or something where i am right now by being above it did you experience a, a longer uh, experience than you would have had you been on the ground 
Yeah, so we, we experienced about four, four, and a, four and a half minutes. I think it was two, maybe three minutes that I was sitting in that seat. Okay, so here's our flight plan, right? So this is our flight plan right here. And this is the path of totality. These are all the different airports. This is Little Rock right here. So what we did was we came all the way out here and then we hooked straight into the path of totality right around from here to here was a little bit more than four minutes, but then we started banking. Oh, and Lester, you're an aviation geek just like the rest of us uh, here at this airport. While we were up there, we noticed that there were a lot of other planes going up. There was a plane that was doing uh, like a full on roll. It was climbing, doing a loop as soon as that eclipse went on. So that area from here to here, I want to say it was a little bit more. We were going about 300 or so knots. Of course, the moon is traveling or the, or the, the moon's shadow is traveling at something like 1600 miles an hour. So we were staying with it as long as we possibly could. But but uh, it, it just, you know, you can't keep up with the moon. No matter how much you shoot the moon, Amazing. you just can't keep up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.